there's a future potential super fight coming up. But first, Pacquiao is fighting Broner, who I think personally is a bum. Whoever wins that <laughs> fight is supposed to fight Lomachenko, who I think I kind of look a little bit like. Yeah, that's, you, yeah. that's oh, thank you. Yeah, that's you really look like kind him. of you. Yes, yes. Do you think Pacquiao and Lomachenko will be a good fight, or will Pacquiao be too past his prime to fight such a great fighter? You can never push Pacquiao to the side. You you you, you can never you can't look past him. I mean, the guy is a veteran of the sport. You know, he's, I think him and, and Lomachenko would be a good fight. Of course, you got the younger guy going up against the older guy, you know, and, um, but it, to me, it doesn't matter. You know, Pacquiao trains just as hard. Pacquiao is fast. He uses his angles. He, you know, he's a great, he's just a great boxer, you know. Lomachenko is the same, pretty much the same style, uses his angles, you know, southpaw. You know, it's just like two softballs going at each other that could switch, you know, and use different angles. So I think it's going to be a great fight. I, I can't wait to see it if it happens. Now, Manny Pacquiao has to get past Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner is, you know, you know, minus the, the arrogance, you know, the way he talks, stuff like that. To me, he's still a good fighter. To me, this is his chance to show the world that he still has what it takes. I got to have a coach's mindset. You know, it's whoever trains hard. Um, you know, so you can never look past Adrian Broner. You know, you can't look past Manny Pacquiao. It's going to be a good fight. I can't wait to see it. And, and I'm definitely a fan of both guys. As everyone knows, you have keys to pretty much every gym <laughs> in the Alamo City. Another one of your fighters, my favorite name of all time, the Red Rooster. What's next for the Red Rooster? Uh, the Red Rooster is making his pro debut January 19th against a very tough grappler uh, named Dylan Fraley. Um, it will be in West Monroe, Louisiana. Um, that's going to be a good fight, too. Um, a lot of, there's a lot of scouts already looking at uh, Roy Sarabia. There's a lot of scouts looking at Dylan Fraley. Dylan Fraley is 9-0 as an amateur, and he hasn't lost, you know? So you got two of the best in the United States coming head to head. You got the rank number one, uh, Roy Sarabia. You got rank number two, Dylan Fraley. You know, they're going to go head to head. And that's their pro debut for both. Um, usually, you don't see something like that, where two of the best in the United States, you know, make their pro debut against each other. So um, it's going to be pretty interesting to watch. You know, we're, we're training hard. Roy's training hard. He's doing what he has to do. So we'll definitely be ready. I know Roy will, for sure. Roy has a fantastic nickname. Have you thought? of a nickname for me yet. I have someone I wanted to kind of workshop with you. White Lightning. Uh, Vanilla Venti. Vanilla, oh, that's a good one. Not bad. <laughs> Is there any that you can suggest to me? Because you're the one that comes up with these, because you've got this whole creative um, boxing thing happening with you. What can my name be when I'm coming up to the ring? Kyle! Uh, the White Lightning. Uh, I, man, it's something we, we just have to, uh, I'll, I'll try to come up with a couple of names for you. Yeah, you'll sketch a couple out yeah. for me. Come to the gym. As, when I see you hitting the bag and stuff like that, and, you'll, you'll and come up shadow with boxing, then I'll, I'll uh, come up it, with it something. Doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be safe for work. I mean, you could always just tell me off camera, because I have a <laughs> feeling it's not going to be good for the, for the camera in the <laughs> San Antonio audience. Well, thanks for coming by and talking to us. Best of luck to you in the new Thank year. Thank you, man. Appreciate and it. And I hope uh, the resolution comes true with you getting yes, back sir. in shape. Thank you. You need it, bro. Come hey, on. You need it, you, too. Oh, yeah, you need true. to get back in the gym. Yeah.